Now let's turn to Mark 319. Bro, they don't know how to read English. Come on, remember reading Bible plus accepting Jesus equals food. <laughs> equals turkey. Good. <laughs> Oh, they got it together real fast. This is a certified hood classic. And just like that, we're back with another episode of Dragon Balls. Another episode of South Park. I uh, appreciate all the support, man. And the gaming channel is at 8,000 subscribers. So we over there turning up, man. We got new videos on the gaming channel. Just need y'all to do me a favor. Hit the like button. Go down below. Subscribe to your boy, man. Make sure you check out these channels below, man. Without further ado, let's get started. Greetings, Mark Lars. I am Mark Lars. No, boy, you let one Pokemon and shit, that, that coral Pokemon, boy. I know you know what it is. Nasty body ass. Fat head ass boy. Uh oh. I come in oh, Mark Lars. They want to eat him. Boy, you better run. Uh, boy, they ate the Markler out of him, boy. Oh, I am shit. Sister Hollis. I was chosen for my mission work to come here to Africa and teach you all about the teachings of Jesus. No, no, no. We don't eat the Bibles, we read them. Now let's turn to Mark 319. Bro, they don't know how to read English. Come on, remember reading Bible plus accepting Jesus equals food. <laughs> equals turkey. Good. <laughs> oh, they got it together real fast. Now who can read Mark 319? How about Marvin? Oh, Lord. No. What? <laughs> Marvin, in God's language, English. In God's language. <laughs> In God's language. Where are you going? Up. Back to your life of sin? Don't you understand that unless you find Christ, you and all your people are doomed to eternal hellfire? Oh, be quiet. Yeah, not believing y'all there. Little peanut head boy. <laughs> and you're off. That glass. And so, children, that's why Hare Krishna's are... <laughs> that boy flying that air cloud, uh, air cloud, air cloud boy, like, with, uh, fuck it, the whole, the whole joke is fucked up. Totally gay. Damn. <laughs> oh. Uh, can I help you? <laughs> yes, I'm Conley, and this is Finks. We're with the CIA. We're here to speak with some Good of the glad. students. You, 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 and you. Oh, for yeah. Pete's sake, what have you bastards done now? Hey, Some bullshit. that was Kyle that went number two in the urinal. No, it wasn't, fellas. I saw you do it. Boys, we need to talk to you about a matter of national security. Now. <laughs> I hope you give him the chair. <laughs> That's a hell of a thing to say, bro. Like, I hope you give him the chair. Yeah, children, as like, I damn. was saying, the Hare Krishnas are totally Ugh, gay. Nasty, got uh, a dude, biscuit on the back of his head. Relax, badass. No, dude, I've seen this on TV. They shine that light in your face, and then they try to get you to tell them stuff by squeezing your balls really hard. What? Dude, I've seen hell it. They no. grab your balls with their leather-gloved hands, and they squeeze them as hard as they can until they pop like little grapes. Ow! Damn! Start what? with Kenny! Start with Kenny! That's relax, the men boys. in black. just need to talk with you. I told you, fat ass. Approximately 31 hours ago, an ethnic-looking child was spotted flying some kind of state-of-the-art aircraft over Chinese airspace. Whoa, cool. Cool? That craft appears to have enough plutonium fuel aboard to blow up a large city. Do you think that's cool? Totally. All right, children, we just need to know. Man, you know he don't give a damn, bro. He go dressed up like Hitler for Halloween, bro. He don't care. One thing. Do you know this person? Hey, that's Starvin Marvin. Shh. Who? You dumbass Carmen. Now they're going to go squeeze his balls. Oh, we don't know him. We already oh know God. you know him. We have this. Now, who is he? I mean, that nigga gave it away. They're just kids. We can't torture them. Look, we don't know what that craft is capable of, but the kid is going to have to land it somewhere. God only knows what sadistic, backwards, third world country could get their hands on that ship. Now, I'll ask you again. Who is the what little the boy happened? that took our ship? We don't know. <laughs> ah! Ah! Are you serious? <laughs> they rubbing a damn balloon. <laughs> They rubbing a the damn balloon, bro. I'm thinking they really did something to torture them, bro. See, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna tell y'all something, bro. I don't like, bro. I, I don't like. I don't like the inside of a glass, bro. It's like the the feeling of inside a glass. Have you ever stuck your fingers inside a glass, bro? With like a wet glass, bro. Like just stick your fingers inside. Boy, you you know I'm a freak, bro. I'm talking about stick your. Stick your fingers inside. No, but I'm just saying. I'm saying, take like fill the glass up. You know what I'm saying. But a little bit more than this. You know what I'm saying. 
take your two fingers, stick it down in the glass, and rub the edge of the glass. I don't like that shit. I don't like it. I'll tell you. He's, he's a little starving Ethiopian kid. We adopted him. Cartman! Adopted from who? <laughs> Sally. Sally Struthers. The lady on TV. <laughs> she knows everything. Sally Struthers. Good job, Bass. Dude, I couldn't take that balloon. Another couple hours of that, and I would have been totally pissed off. Whatever, let's go see what's on TV. <laughs> no, I'm warning you, bro. Sally Struthers is a bit heavy. But don't say anything because she's pretty sensitive. <laughs> oh, I would never say anything. I saw some show where they made fun of Sally Struthers' weight, and I thought it was totally cruel. Okay. I mean, she helps people, you know? Ah, yeah. Miss Struthers. <laughs> Damn, bitch! Wow! <laughs> uh, okay, I saw Sally Struthers, like, a while back. <laughs> I saw Sally Struthers a while back in a few episodes, bro. Do y'all remember what Sally Struthers looks like way back? No, can't have any. That's what she was looking like. This bitch, boy, bitch, you look like some kin to Ja Ja Binks, bitch. <laughs> what the fuck? Mm -hmm. Gentlemen, ugly. Uh, Come on, Bitch, look like biscuit dough popped out. You know, when you smack the dough on the table, it'll pop out ugly ass biscuits. Well, dough. I can't find anything. Wait, what's this? <laughs> God wants you to send us money. He needs you to send us money so we can help others. Oh, my God, this guy again. Why would anybody send this asshole money? <laughs> Damn. Whoa. Huh? Ah! Ah, oh, oh, wig! Starving Marvin! Boing, boing, boing. He did take a ship. Well, nice job, Marvin. I hope you got about a thousand dollars to pay for my house. You need a little bit more than that, nigga. Awesome. How did y'all get Let's that go out? Somewhere. Oh. Hello, how are we doing today? Look what I got for you. Right, he like. No, it's not food. It's a cross. And it has your Christian name printed on it. From now on, you are Michael. No, you. You're crazy, lady. Boy, they need food. You ever bringing wooden crosses and Can shit, boy? Can you say Michael? <laughs> Michael. Boy, that shit look like Duda, boy. Oh, well, you'll get it. <laughs> Shout out to my boy Duda. <laughs> Greetings. Welcome to Marklar. Uh, thanks. I okay. am Marklar, leader of the Marklar. Uh, cool. My name is Stan, and I... I'm the leader of Earth. On Marklar, we refer to all people, places, and things as Marklar. Well, our friend Marvin and all his people have to live on a part of Earth that sucks ass. They can't grow food or nothing. Yeah, so it'd be really cool if you would let Marvin and all his people come live here. Well, there is a lot of room on Marklar. If Marklar here wants to bring his Marklar to Marklar, that would be fine. Just take our Marklar back to Marklar and bring all the Marklar back with you. Uh, thanks. No, nigga. The fuck? What the Marklar is going on in this motherfucker? The ship took us to another oh, planet, it? a beautiful, lush place <laughs> called Marklar. Yeah, yeah, and the leader, he said that all the Ethiopians can go live there. <laughs> the alien race, have they heard the word of Christ? Oh, you just need to stop. You just need to stop. No, Death never, looking ass. Perfect. Come on, Marvin. We've got to get your people to Marklar before the missionaries do. You'll do nothing of the kind. This ship is now property of the United States government. Oh, my God. No! <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Excuse me, gentlemen. Uh, Tom Brokaw is here to see you. Tom Brokaw? Oh no, the press already? Ah, good day, gentlemen. <laughs> oh, God. Uh huh, Mr. <laughs> Brokaw, I presume. You presume wisely, sir. I'm here to get the big story, <laughs> the big scoop. I understand that you found some kind of ship from an alien race, seeing as though I. So they didn't hear that <laughs> damn door letting the. Okay. I am Pulitzer Prize right. winning Tom Brokaw. Look, kid, did you really think this was going to fool anybody? You don't look anything like Tom Brokaw. What? Dare you question my integrator? I told you Tom Brokaw doesn't have a mustache, fat ass. Son of a bitch! Yeah, they gone already. Uh, Get him! Hey, hey, hey. Kenny! Forget him. He's done for. He's not done for. He's standing right there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, no, he's done for. Come on. <laughs> oh, no, bro. We understand that you have a ship of your own, one capable of interstellar travel. Maybe I do. Maybe we I don't. need to use your ship to catch those boys. How are they will talking to him? I mean, her. <laughs> Miss Struthers, if those Ethiopians make it to another planet, who will send money to your foundation? Without Ethiopians, you have no food. 
We have collateral. What? <laughs> hell no! What the hell is that? That motherfucker! <laughs> Stupid ass boy! I don't like you, boy. Demon looking ass boy. Ugh! Demon rat pigeon looking ass. Just ugh! You nasty raccoon looking. I don't even know what the fuck you are, boy. I don't like you. Where did that come from? <laughs> Brothers, don't forget the gift we gave you, the child in carbonite. What? Mr. Brothers, you help so many people, and you taught us that helping people is what life is all about. All we want to do is be like you. Fat and nasty. You're right. Girl, you're going to you're going lose weight. Please, please, please. We are confused. You must explain one at a marklar. Alien friend, we are here to spread the word of Jesus. He died for your sins. How did you even get on the ship? Doesn't that get confusing? Oh, no. Watch this. Hey, marklar. Yes? You see? Wait. Wait, I think I can explain this whole thing. No, you Marklar? can't. These Marklars want to change your Marklar. They don't oh want my God! Of please, to no! Them because it's bad for their Marklar. They use Marklar to try and force Marklars to believe their Marklar. If you let them stay here, they will build Marklars and Marklars. They will take all your Marklars and replace them. So you know what I? You know what I think? I think it's the intent behind it. So if I said, "Man, I'm recording a Marklar today. I got to record a lot of Marklars," it's like. Okay, you're talking about recording a video. My intent was to say recording a video. So maybe these aliens understand what Marklar is by reading the intent on it. So like what I'm saying, <clears throat> if me and my dad was sitting in the room and I said, hey, Marklar, my dad would answer yes, because he knows that I'm talking to him with intent. Like, my energy is directed to... I don't know. Maybe that's how it is. I, 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 With Marklar. These Marklars have no good Marklar to live on Marklar, so they must come here to Mar... the hell did he say? Wow, good job, dude. Thanks. Right. The Marklars can stay. All right! Amen. You Marklars must leave. But you will all burn forever in eternal hellfire. Yes, that's nice. Thank you for stopping by. Huh. Okay. All right. <laughs> that's it. That's all, folks. But I'm just I'm saying, bro. At the end of the day, I think that's how it goes. I think the Marklars is just all about the intent behind it. That's what it is. The intent is what makes people. Now, what the fucking Marklar is going on?